Hello guys, this is Pradeep. So back with another topics. So today I'm going to talk about like how to extract some invoice, I mean invoice details and uh, in the Excel format. And so let's say the most difficult part is uh, to extract tabular data within the Excel format of invoice. So I'm just giving an example like how, how can we achieve that. So basically I've created a sample invoice data and i'll show you that first so it will, let's go here this is a sample so this is a sample one so basically I, I hope you guys know like how the invoices look in excel so this is just a sample i just created um, so this let's say this is personal details and the contact details and let's say this is the invoice data table which we have which we get and this is some random description the signal so let's say we need to extract this from quantity to price the entire tabular data how do we do that so let's close this and I'll, I'll run my script or you can see the logic so let's run this and we'll see how, how is it extracting yeah so this is the column one two two zero so I'm writing in out result.xlsx in this one. So if we refresh this, we should be able to see another one, another Excel here. Yes. So this is the data table which which we got extracted from the invoice. So quantity is price and the three rows. So let's go back and see that our sample Excel. Yeah, so this is a invoice table. So it has quantity price one, two, two, and this is the price details. So if we go back and see the same, so it extracts the same. So let's see how this thing is working. It goes step by step. So I'm using a read range workbook activity to read the sample of my invoice number. Sorry, sorry, invoice details, and I'm just storing this. I'm creating an output data table called out data table and uh, I'm just cloning that. I need this copy of that uh, headers. So I'm looping through the original data table, which is the output of this read range activity. Now the first act the first activity is just looking for uh, if the row of zero. Now let me open that sample if my row of zero dot to string dot contains the quantity which is row of zero this one um, if, it, if it contains quantity qty then as i am an indicator the bull label indicator is equal to true so that means if 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 any the row index contains quantities it will start making as true so let's say we got true and uh, the other condition is if the, this, is the, this will be true though it will come here and it will uh, add data so i'm just adding the, the entire row same row dot item array to the dummy data so dummy dt so the dummy dt is nothing but i just cloned it here with the same template with the same headers and all so if it is true it will keep looping and looping add all the values and again it will check if row of zero dot two string is nothing so until it big this row becomes empty so let's say this is empty so what will stop there and mark the bull indicator as false and once again if we start if it is false once in the different two the bull indicator will be false so both basically go to the false in the else condition and uh, it will stop the process you can also write the different conditions like if you want to stop somewhere uh, let's say uh, if this is the total and this is something what about this 801 
So let's say you can give a condition like row of zero dot to string contains total. So we have bought basically stop still here. So basically you can give any condition based on the rows, the keywords you want to extract. So this is the this is how it works. And once that is done, I'm just writing the entire dummy data here, starting from cell A1. So dummy data is my template, which I just cloned it for original data table. Yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much.